Namaste angels. I'm here to do the daily reading for Monday, April 11th. And I've just opened the deck very uh, apropos to Unity, Archangel Sandalphon, and the Ace of Earth. And the reason these are so appropriate is because Archangel Sandalphon, again, is one of two original earth angels who ascended to be archangels. The other one is Archangel Metatron. Um, so he is the guardian of all earthbound things. And I believe he's a Virgo or he represents Virgo. This is card number five. So it is a sign of change like unimaginable unexpected swift life changing movement and Archangel Sandalphon has to tell us that traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends unite with your fellow light workers unity And that goes with the Ace of Earth because Archangel Sandalphon really is the Ace of Earth. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. We are of the business of light work. It's very important and very promising and leads to unimaginable abundance. It's actually Saturday the 9th. Ah, and look what just fell from the deck as I picked it up to shuffle. The Nine of Fire, our I Am Who Am card. Don't give up. Protect that which you created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Um, it's Saturday the 9th. But again, I am recording the video for Monday, April 11th, and I'm doing it in advance for two reasons. One, I don't want anything to get in the way of our messages, so I want to make sure that YouTube cooperates with me and allows me to let's see what's behind that. Because obviously Archangel Sandalphon wants to come out, but let's see what's behind him. Uh, too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. So this goes back to unity. This goes back to seeking like-minded people who can assist you in getting through some of this. Oh, they're doing it again. The moon. Archangel Haniel. Card number 18, which is nine. Service to humanity. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. And the High Priestess, Archangel Haniel, listen to your intuition, have patience, consider carefully what you want before acting. Oh boy, okay. It's another reading of that nature. The Nine of Water. Your wishes come true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Amen. And again, a nine. Nines represent service to humanity. The two is for duality and um, spiritual awareness. Self, spiritual awareness and stepping into your own, yourself from a spiritual point of view, perspective, acknowledging who you are. Twos also represent partnership, relationships. The dreamer, Archangel Metatron, a leap of faith. Follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. These are the, again, <laughs> 
This is apropos because these are the two earth angels that became archangels. The only two. Because they took that leap of faith and listened to that zero, that God force and unimaginable change happened in their lives. I'm sure they never expected to be earth angels, let alone archangels. <sighs> this is too funny. I'm trying to pick up the cards. And what falls away but the sun. Archangel Uriel. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So they just want me to pull a bunch of angel cards. They're going to give them to me. Ego. Archangel Jophiel. A false, false sense of entrapment. Being overly focused on material things. Negative or fear-based thoughts. All of that can be fixed with life experience. And again, appropriately, this is the next card. 15 followed by 16. Archangel Chamuel. A significant life event. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Okay. I'm going to attempt to shuffle now <laughs> and see if they want me to pull anything of my own accord. Oh. The ten of fire is back. Too much work. Accept, accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. So, yeah, I think they're just going to give me the cards. They're probably laughing at me right now. The universe has, like, an amazing sense of humor. Yep, okay, so the card of the day is the Ten of Fire. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Surrounded by the energies of the nine of water. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. And Archangel Chamuel. Life experience. A significant life event. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Ego. Archangel Jophiel. A false sense of entrapment. Being overly focused on material things. Negative or fear-based thoughts. The Sun. Archangel Uriel. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. The dreamer, Archangel Metatron. Leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities. Unity, Archangel Sandalphon. Traditional viewpoints or methods. Spiritual organizations. Seek out mentors and like-minded friends. The High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Carefully consider what you want before acting. And the Moon. Also, Archangel Haniel. Important psychic insights. Events behind the scenes. Release fears that hold you back. And if we put these in order... We can really get the message. 
Okay, we start with Archangel Metatron and the Dreamer and taking the leap of faith. In doing so, our intuition begins to broaden. We become the High Priestess. But we still need help along the way. And that's where unity comes in and seeking out people of a vibration similar or higher than ours. But without ego, I am who am still means, you know, you are who are. We don't want to take on a God complex. <laughs> Everybody has a purpose in this. Even those of the dark are ultimately working for the light because they serve a purpose from which we can learn and grow. As the next card suggests, life experience, Archangel Chamuel, that helps us to progress to Archangel Haniel and the moon where we're highly intuitive and we're taking on that feminine moon energy energy of goddesses of Venus of Pisces that strong intuition but there's still stuff that maybe we don't know there's still a little darkness surrounding us but then the sun comes. Archangel Uriel. And it's a happy outcome. Okay, we got to live through these things to get to this. Happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Because your wishes come true. This is the wish card. This is the nine of water, the nine of cups. That's the wish card, the second strongest wish card in the tarot, with the highest being, of course, the star. Major Arcana card, the star. Okay, wow, that was something. I hope that you enjoyed today's reading. Namaste, angels.